Hey everybody. Well, as you can tell, I'm missing my partner today, but welcome back to another episode of Vince and Mare Cook Italian. Today it is Mare Cooks Italian because Vince was getting ready to join me, but we're having a bit of an issue with the pool and he rushed out to start taking care of that. So that's okay. You have me today. I thank you for joining me. Um, if you like our channel, please subscribe. Also, if you could hit the bell for future notifications and um, the like button and share us, that would be great. It's getting really hot. In fact, today's supposed to be about 95 and the rest of the week is only supposed to get hotter. So we're getting into the time of year that we try not to turn the stove on. We grill a lot, do some sim simple things um, on the stove top or make some big salads. So that's what I thought I would do today. I do this recipe a lot on Christmas Eve because we do the seven fishes. Um, and this is something that I use as one of the appetizers, salads. Um, you know, it's just really good. It's light, it's refreshing, and it's really easy. And you can do a variation of this however you'd like by adding in other seafood um, or using different vegetables if you'd like for the salad. The first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna get the pan ready that I'm going to um, steam the seafood in. I have, uh, there's a bag of small little neck clams and then, which I let soak in cold water for, they were in there for about an hour. Um, clams are very sandy and the worst thing you wanna do is put a clam in your mouth and get a mouthful of sand. So just rinse them really, really well. I actually just put enough cold water to cover them in the sink. And then after about a half hour, drain that out and put some more cold water in. Swish them around. In this bowl, I have some calamari, fresh calamari with the tentacles. If, you, if the tentacles make you squeamish, then take them out. About a dozen large shrimp and a dozen of the, the large sea scallops. So, and that was just Vince, he's coming, going in and out. So anyway, so I also um, just peeled the shrimp and I cut the calamari. And the easiest way to take a calamari tube and cut it is to just use a scissor and cut it, okay? So they're in here. And then I have about eight ounces of crab. So crab's expensive, um, even at this time of year. I love claw meat and it's a lot less expensive than the premium crab or the chunk crab. So I got eight ounces of the crab claw meat and it was $11.99, so that's not bad. The others were at least twice, if not more. <clears throat> I'm going to start by turning on the stove, put it on about medium, and I'm gonna do a cup of water with half stick of butter So in the pan, I put a cup of water, a half of a stick of butter. I'm going to put a half of a cup of white wine. This is eight large cloves of garlic. I'm just putting them in whole. About Tablespoon of salt. And I'm getting that going because I want it to start getting nice and hot before I put the um, seafood in. While that happens, I'm gonna make the vinaigrette, okay? So for the salad, the first thing I did was I got a, a small head of bib lettuce. I like bib lettuce because it's small and it's tender and it's really good when you're having some seafood. I also julienned four small carrots, two stalks of celery, four of those delicious little sweet peppers that we love, a half of a large bulb of fennel. Now fennel has a pretty strong taste, so if you're not used to it, it might not wanna be something you add right away. It's licorice, tastes like licorice. We love it, we just eat it, um, and I love it on the salad, but it might not be one, something you want to start with. This is eight very thin um, stalks of asparagus. And what I did was I chopped them and then I had to blanch them. 
and put them in a bowl with some water and pop them in the microwave for one minute. Took them out, immediately uh, took the hot water out and put them in ice water and they came out perfect. This is three scallions or green onions and I uh, sliced the white and about halfway up the green stem. I had a half cup of really good extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of good white wine vinegar. This is actually this is actually Prosecco wine vinegar. I'm not even sure where I found it, but I love it. It's got such a good taste to it. Then I want to squeeze um, about half of the juice of about half a half of a lemon. Some black pepper. I'm going to use a pinch of oregano. Some more salt. And this is about a cup of parsley. I'm going to use about half a cup of, of it in my dressing. And then the other half I can just sprinkle on top. I can hear that starting to bubble. And I want that stick of butter to melt. Okay, so let's make the vinaigrette. And I, what I want to do is I'm going to make the vinaigrette and put the vegetables in, not the lettuce, um, and let it sit for about an hour before we put everything together because I want the vegetables to marinate in the, in the dressing. And this is just really simple. Take my olive oil, the white wine vinegar. I love my lemon juicer. Don't know what I would do without it. Ooh, I just got some lemon in my eye. I could have done without that. Okay. Oh my goodness. I need to stop. Okay, I'm back a little teary-eyed. Um, I use that lemon juicer every single day and I have never had lemon juice squirt in my eye, but I can tell you it's not fun. It was very painful. So anyway, that's I had to take a big break for a couple of minutes. Um, I'm going to put half a tablespoon of salt. About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of black pepper and just a pinch, when I'm saying a pinch, a pinch of oregano. I'm gonna whisk that, just whisk it all together. You know, I don't like salad overdressed. I just feel like it takes away from the taste of the vegetables. So um, I'm just gonna put all the veggies in now, carrots, Celery, pepper, fennel, asparagus, some asparagus there, and the scallions, and about half of the parsley. Okay. All right, let's toss these together. And this is, um, this is actually a salad. I don't know if I said this before, but I actually like this room temperature or slightly chilled. So I'm gonna um, mix these together, let them sit, and then I'm gonna make the seafood, let that sit, and then right before I head out to mom's in about an hour and a half, I'll pop it all together and uh, it'll be ready to go. So set this aside and then just every 15 minutes or so give it a quick toss so that all of the vegetables stay marinating in the vinaigrette. The pan is ready to start adding the seafood. I'm going to start with the uh, shrimp and scallop and calamari mixture and I'm just going to pop it in. Don't burn yourself. These won't take long. They'll cook pretty quickly. You just want the calamari to cook for a couple of minutes, the shrimp to uh, turn pink. It's gonna be probably about five minutes. Um, I am go, I did turn the uh, heat up under the pan though. Okay. 
When they come out, um, I'm just gonna put the crab in just for a couple of minutes just to get the flavor of the um, butter and white wine that I am cooking them in. And for, at very last, I will add the clams. So just keep stirring them, turning them. I can smell it already. They look good already. They smell good already. And it's just gonna take a couple of more minutes. Oh, the shrimp are turning nice and pink already. Wow, it's great. Smells so good. So um, when they're cooked, I'm just going to take them out and put them in a bowl to set them aside while we finish. Calamari actually cooks really quickly and everyone always says either cook calamari really quickly or cook it for a long time because if you don't, it tends to be rubbery. So these are almost done already. Um, I can tell because the shrimp are, I don't know if you can see that, but they're nice and pink. Um, usually the scallops, I can tell by just seeing if I can just easily cut one in half and check that out and make sure that is completely white. I'm gonna say one more minute there. So I don't have Vince to help me out here, so <laughs> you guys are gonna have to bear with me here. Um, the calamari, they look done already, so. These look good, they smell good. I think I can actually fish them out. I love this. If you do not have one of these, it is absolutely worth every penny and they're not that expensive. is out except for a couple of the car garlic cloves. I'm going to bring it over and show it to you. Mm. Smells so good. Look at that. It's going to taste good too. Next, I'm just going to throw the crab meat in. And honestly, two minutes left. be prepared because it took me a good 40 to 45 minutes just to prep. So it's not going to be something that you can get done really quickly. You need to have the prep time. Once the prep time is done, then it's fast. Okay. It is sizzling. Then I can scoop it all out, garlic cloves and all, because I just need, uh, I just need liquid in there to steam the clams and they'll probably steam in just a couple of minutes. So. So, gosh, it's already July this week. I can't even believe that I'm starting to talk about um, Christmas Eve and the Seven Fishes. I'm really anxious and excited to uh, show you guys what we do on Christmas Eve. I cook for like a good three days, so I don't think I'm gonna show you all the cooking, but maybe between now and then, I will just make each of the recipes in case you guys wanna do any of them. This is definitely one I do pretty much, like I said, every single year. I'm gonna shut it off again. And then I'm going to take the crab out and I'm going to just put it right into the bowl with the other seafood. And remember, this time I don't have to worry whether or not I scoop out the peppercorns and the garlic because I don't need that to cook the clams in. I just need the broth. Right. I miss my mama. I'm used to my cooking partner. But get that pool fixed. Next week's 4th of July and next Sunday and uh, we're having some people over so. Okay, so that's gonna see, you can see how much this is steaming. It's gonna take at least an hour to come down to room temperature so that's good. Turn the stove back on. And I do this for safety. This is not, I don't want the stove on if the stove doesn't have to be on. And then once that starts to simmer again, which should not take long, I'm gonna put all the clams in. It's a lot of clams so I probably won't uh, put them all on top of the salad they'll be just so good to just eat right out of the shell. My mom's gonna love this. And what you rarely see me with is a glass of white wine, but it is a hot summer afternoon. It is a light, refreshing salad with seafood. So today's wine is just a Chardonnay. This is coming in. Let's see how things are going out there. This is boiling. I'm gonna put the clams in, be careful. Don't pour the 
water in from the bottom because there's probably a little bit of sand in there. Not much because I rinsed them out really well, but you don't want the sand in there. Yum, calamari is perfect. I know some of you won't like this, but mm. good. forget to keep tossing the vegetables. This is also gonna make such a pretty presentation when I lay it out on the lettuce leaves and then toss everything together. It really looks impressive and it's really simple, so. It's something you can all impress your friends with. Just in case you need any more salt um, or pepper, I would just leave it out. I'm gonna actually try and see how the dressing is. Mmm, that was perfect. That was a pepper. Mmm. The vegetables, the dressing was perfect. So it was a half, a half cup of really good extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of a good white wine vinegar. I used Prosecco vinegar, the juice of a half of a lemon. Don't get it in your eye. And then um, about a half a tablespoon of salt. 10 grinds of a pepper a pepper mill and uh, just a pinch of oregano right, so if any of you have not cooked clams before the thing you need to really remember is that if they're open you need to discard them because they are not good so if you find a clam that has a, is a little bit open just push to see if it will close if it will close on its own then it's all good um, and you can put it in. So just now we're just going to wait until they all open and then we're going to take them out. I'm going to set them aside separately, I think. And I just start fishing them out as they open. And they're starting. That fast. That fast. Three. You can count them as we put them in. Four. So a lot of the recipes that I use on Christmas Eve call for a, a, a fish stock. So if you get fresh shrimp, fresh shrimp, don't use the cooked shells, but if you have fresh shrimp shells, then put them in a freezer bag and pop them in the freezer and then just keep adding to them. And I will use that um, for Christmas Eve to make some fresh fish stock. Okay, so all of the clams opened except for two. I have my seafood coming down to room temperature. My vegetables are continuing to marinate. The clams need to come down to room temperature. And once that happens, we're gonna put it all together. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'm back. Hi everybody. Well, Vince came to join us for the taste test and plating. After my little um, disaster. After, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, Bubba. You did a good job. I had to cough the light, and then I'm going into the bowl, and I pull, I slip, and my battery operator drill went <laughs> doink at a point right in the liner. So I put a hole in the liner. I'm like, oh my god! But I patched patch. it. It's I patched, patched it. We're just hoping that the uh, leak that we've had for three years since we had the new liner put in is fixed now, since we hired a really good leak detection company. Right? It was worth it. Um, it was worth it. And they came out, they found that the leak was in was, the light. The conduit. Right? It was conduit, not yeah. sealed off. So we learned a lesson, right? Three right. years of constantly trying to refill the pool. I did um, it myself instead. And yes, and no one, no one wanting to be responsible for it. So anyway, we were responsible for it, but that's okay. So things happen. So in the meantime, everything has come down to room temperature. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. The vegetables, honestly, I think I was tasting the vegetables and I thought, I think this is my favorite part. And then I tasted the seafood and I thought, I think this is my favorite part. So we're going to put it together and it's all going to be our favorite part. Mm. So all I did was Oops. just plate the bib lettuce, just make it look pretty on the plate. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the vegetables down. And don't forget that I continued to just um, toss these in the marinade. The marinade's really good. I kind of made this marinade recipe up myself. Um, 
and I'm proud of myself because it's excellent. So I put some down on the bottom. Then I'm gonna take some of the seafood. Mmm, it's so, so, so good. Got my and favorite then, food in there, scallops. Mm -hmm, that's favorite. your favorite, right? That's my favorite. And I'm gonna put um, some of the seafood. Mm. Don't try not to get the um, liquid from the seafood. Mm. I could get a little fancy and even everything out and make it look a little prettier. I'm actually gonna have so much seafood here. Mm. And I'm gonna have some, um, some seafood on the side, babe. I, I know you'll enjoy that, right? Mm -hmm. Kill and then off. I'm gonna take some of the clams. There's a lot of clams here, so I'm not gonna put all of the clams, but, and Ben's ate some. Mm -hmm. This one. I ate, actually, I ate a couple. Mm -hmm. Blame your husband. Mm -hmm. oh, good. A lot of times it'll say, just take the meat out of the shells, but I think it looks pretty. No, there's no fun in that. Right, with the meat in the shells. So I left the meat in the shells. And I'm just gonna put a few, because that looks good. And then I'm gonna top with some more of the vegetables. You taking a whole platter of them Oh gosh, no. <laughs> this is yours too, Bubba. Mm -hmm. Not just mine's. Just some more of the vegetables. And then, uh, you know what you can get me, Bella? Mm -hmm. A spoon so I can put some of the vinaigrette. I wanna get I wanna get some of the vinaigrette out without spilling it everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't think it needs any more salt and pepper, um, but if you wanna put a little more salt and pepper, you can. Look at that, just some of the vinaigrette. And like I said, don't overdress it. You don't want it sw swimming, in. swimming in it, but you wanna taste it. And then a little bit of the fresh parsley, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Oh my goodness, Bubba, can you bring that platter to them and show them how amazing this looks? He's hungry, he's eating the clams. Oh, sweet. <laughs> They're so good. Don't drop it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't spill. The... Look at that. Ooh, oh my gosh. Seriously, everyone, you will love this. Your guests will love it. Um, I When I do this on Christmas Eve, I have pretty much quadrupled the recipe. So if I only used a half pound, I would use a pound or two. Um, I, lit, I make a huge platter of this for Christmas Eve. And when I tell you that it, it goes, it goes. It's one what of happens when you have 20 and 30 people here eating? <laughs> so Bubba, give me come over here and... <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us again today. Please remember to subscribe to hit the bell for future notifications, to like and to share. Uh, we all hope that you have an amazing week. Uh, we have to think about if we're gonna do something for 4th of July weekend. We'll, we'll let you know. Have a great day. See ya. Love you. Love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.